Hey everyone, this is Dr. Z, PhD Natural Me, and welcome back to my channel. I am going to talk today about keto and recovery from my total knee replacement. But first I want to thank you. I have reached over 400 subscribers, and it is truly a blessing. I am excited about those who have subscribed I am excited about those who watch my videos and just haven't hit that like button or that subscribe button yet if you haven't please click that subscribe button and that way you won't miss any of my videos make sure that bell has that little around it <laughs> well I want to talk about a few of the questions that I have been asked by people mainly those around me one is did I stay keto during my recovery what did I eat and did I gain weight well let me start with did I stay eating keto and the answer to that is yes and no I let my husband take care of me he made me food he did all the cooking for me he usually does all the cooking anyway but he did the cooking from what I requested and when I'm sick or not feeling well or recovering I always love chicken noodle soup I love homemade chicken noodle soup and I love Campbell's chicken noodle soup and I, that's what I wanted I think maybe from eating the chicken noodle soup, my cravings for carbs went up. I didn't eat it a lot, but I did have it at least almost every day. Not, not every day, but almost every day. And then I wanted a sandwich with it. I like soup and sandwich. He's not good at making grilled cheese, and I didn't feel like doing that. So he would make me a half a sandwich, a half a ham sandwich, a half of uh, turkey sandwich and cheese. I think for me, I maintained my weight, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Those were some of the things that I liked. I didn't eat a lot. My carbohydrate intake was higher than 20 to 25 grams, but I was conscious of what I did eat. And I knew when I was eating more carbs than I normally do because my body would feel it. My body would tell me, would talk to me after I ate the food. It would talk to me. You know when you eat something that you know you really shouldn't eat and you feel kind of yucky? Um, I do that with carbohydrates and I do that with sugar. Certain foods that, that are sugary... When I eat them, it gives me a massive headache, and I I know that I don't I don't um, eat sugar like that anymore. But when I did, that's what happened to me. And with carbohydrates, the same thing. It would give me this headache or groggy feeling after I ate, and it wasn't from the pain medicine that I took from my for my knee. It was what I was putting in my body. But I also this is the yes part of keto. I eat vegetables. Dr. Berg just recommends, he doesn't count the carbohydrates that you eat from vegetables. And I did not either for the first few weeks when I wanted something. I was exhausted, so I didn't really want to do a whole lot of chewing. But I ate um, some salads, green beans, uh, greens, just I had I was craving greens. My husband, he can cook some greens. Oh my God, he can really cook greens. And I wanted mustards. I wanted collards. I wanted kale, and that's what he made for me. And I could eat that as a meal, and it was great. So yes, I did stay on my ketogenic lifestyle, or some may say a low carb lifestyle. I call it keto. That worked for me. So, let me see what I ate. Talked about what I ate. 
and did I gain weight? Six weeks ago, I weighed 195 pounds, and yesterday's weight was 198. So over the past six weeks, with eating ketogenically off and on, I gained three pounds. Some of that I know is swelling that I still have from the surgery. My knee, and that will take some time. That's just part of recovery. And I'm okay with that. I'm also older. So my metabolism is a little bit different. And I'm not saying just because you're older that your metabolism is slow. In general, sometimes your metabolism kind of slows down. And when you're trying to recover from a surgery, you have to allow your body some time to heal. For me, the healing properties was that chicken noodle soup. Mm -mm. It was really good. I had a lot more chicken and... He would also just make chicken soup, no noodles, just, you know, chicken and celery and a couple of carrots in there. And that was great for me. But I can eat that and I can eat the greens. And that worked for me. So if you find that you're in a place where maybe you have a procedure or surgery coming up, did you know that you're going to have some downtime with it? Prepare. Try to prepare. I, I did as much preparation before surgery that I could do before surgery because I knew that I was not going to be able to get into the kitchen or anything. But I did not beat myself up when I didn't eat um, low-carb, high-fat, moder moderate amount of protein. I did not because all that would do was add more stress. I had the stress of the surgery. And don't forget that stress raises cortisol levels and that can affect your your weight but I I let myself be taken care of by my husband and that helped a lot what did not help for me was me diagnosing myself I'm a nurse researcher I used to be an open-heart nurse and I tell you you give me a diagnosis or I, I'm diagnosing myself, which I, I need to stop. Because <laughs> I know, you know, with the swelling that's going on in my leg, I was making sure, oh, make sure that's not a clot. You got to check your leg, check your calf, make sure it's... I was doing a lot of uh, nursing things instead of just being a patient. Couldn't help myself. But I'm doing well slowly getting there it is a slower recovery for me but I'm taking one day at a time and in that day sometimes I'm just taking one moment at a time to recover and live ketogenically if you haven't looked um, went to my website take a look at my website I talk about living ketogenically there so stay healthy, everyone. Keep eating keto or whatever it is that helps you to maintain your healthy lifestyle. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. Stay healthy and keep eating keto. Bye-bye.